You have many shopping sites, AliExpress, Gearbest, Amazon, you name it, they are all there. And there is also something called Wish. Here on Zachary's 3D Print, I'm going to share my experience on Wish. Can you buy a 3D printer on Wish? Coming up on Zachary's 3D Prints. Hello, I'm Zachary and this channel is about 3D printing with tips, tricks, tutorials, how to review news anything 3D printing or 3D printer related, you can find right here on this channel. If you're new here and not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing and hit the notification button to get the latest news and updates right in your YouTube alerts. And thanks for being here. So a few weeks ago, I was in a live stream with Martin Uber from uh, iFactory1. And after that, I did a chat session with some people and we were talking about the 3D printers that were online for sale like Gearbest, um, Banggood and some other sites. Afterwards somebody commented me in that video about Wish being much cheaper than Gearbest or any other site I mentioned in that video. I always had my ideas about the shopping site Wish. Maybe it is in the name, but I thought, well, I have some spare money or money that I can use for making content on YouTube. So I bought a few items on Wish. So one of the items was a 3D printer. Because of my channel, I want to see how cheap a 3D printer can be on Wish. You have to look very carefully for that because in the first rows, when you are searching for 3D printer and kit, you will find some 3D printers which you can buy. One caught my attention. It was the advertisement of the Two Trees Bluer Plus, a similar 3D printer like the ANET ED4, a huge solid base with a standard Z axis frame, you name it, it was all there. All the pictures, everything you can see, multiple pictures. And, and I had something like, well, how much is this printer? On the left side, you have the pictures. And on the right side, you have the title. You have the little description thing kind of way. And there you had the selection box. In the title, it says uh, print, blah, 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 printer or 3D pen. Now, the thing is, when you are going to select for a type A 3D printer, it should be a 3D printer. Because what happened, I read the, uh, the, the description which is under the pictures, and there you can see everything about the 23 Bluer Plus 3D printer. You have to select what you want to have. But I don't know how you would see it, but in my situation, when you are going to shop for something like a 3D printer or a 3D pen or a filament or sheets to print material on, it should be clear in the title, in the description that it is going about that product, nothing else. So as you can guess, I am not upset because I already had some contact with the customer service from Wish because this kind of practices I don't like. When you are shopping for underwear or when you are shopping for a camera on Wish, it needs to be clear for every consumer that is going to be there. I selected and I can show you a screenshot of what I bought, Type A 3D printer. This is a 3D printer. I have multiple examples how a 3D printer should look like. And as a matter of fact, the second choice was a 3D pen. I cannot show you that because now that is gone. You cannot see it, but you had to make the, you could make a choice between 3D pen and a 3D printer. Why should you have to make those kind of choices? When I buying some filament, 
I know for sure there is something like pictures, which kind of colors you can get. You make a selection, which kind of color you want to get for the filament. If you're going to shop for a 3D printer on Wish, you need to make a selection. Why? Of course, on AliExpress, you can also make selections. If you want a USA plug, if you want a, a European Union plug, if you want to uh, ship it via China, or when you want to ship it via Germany or via the USA, it doesn't matter. Those kind of selections are normal, but not that you have to make a selection if you want to have a 3D pen or a 3D printer. In my case, the 3D pen was something around the $20 and a 3D printer was $55. And I know you would guess, oh, but Zachary, that is too good to be true. Yes, it is. But if I select something like a 3D printer, it should be a 3D printer. Before I'm going to show you what I did get, you can guess it, I also bought some other items. One of them is a drone. Of course, when you are going to see a DJI Maverick Pro drone, for $20, you know for sure it's not a original drone. I know that. And also, I didn't have the idea that it is going to look like that. I got this, and this looks like what? This is a drone. The picture said it is a drone. I selected and I got some batteries as well because I could choose one, two or three batteries included with the drone. That is very clear. There are some other items that I also uh, bought. Stepper motors and also the BL Touch. Whoop. Those things didn't arrive. I just received the, the drone which works normal i can fly with it one of the two batteries you guessed that it, it's broken it doesn't work now i show you what i did receive because uh, in a few minutes i'm going to do a live stream and for that i want to have it unpacked so this ladies and gentlemen is my 3d printer i don't know how big this 3d printer is well the smallest 3d printer that i bought the Easy 3D X1, they are selling it for over $100. This Easy 3D X1 3D printer that I have, I bought it for 99 euros. And that is a normal price. But in case of that, this is what I got. A damaged box. And here in the box, it says something in, um, in Chinese, 5 volts, USB. And it is a color 3D pen too. So the box is damaged. I did want to give this away because I said, if it is not a 3D printer, but something else, I would do a giveaway. This I cannot give away to my viewers. This I'm going to send back to the people who shipped it to me or else I will just do something else stupid with it. What do you get? PLA. A 3D pen, USB cable, and also a holder. This kind of 3D pens you can buy for 20, maybe 30 dollars or euro. I don't know which kind of currency you are or which part, part of the world you are, but a 3D printing pen like this from out of China should cost around, you, you can name it, 55 euros for this kind of pen, exclude the shipping cost of 15 euros, I think this is a rip off. For the people from Wish, I will tell you this. You have to make sure that the pictures, the title and the description are saying what it is. And no picture in picture with some 3D printer pens, which you can also buy on the same site or on the same page. So this was my honest review. I'm a little bit upset, but hey, I knew this could happen. I wish I didn't bought something on Wish. So to wrap up this video, I cannot do an unboxing video of a 3D printer. Well, it's not really a 3D printer. It does print PLA, but it is not a 3D printer. This is a 3D pen. There's a huge difference between a 3D printer and a pen. 
And by, by the way, the 3D printers that have a normal price are way overpriced on Wish. So if you are going to buy something on Wish, take the cheapest possible things. And when it breaks, it doesn't care, it doesn't bother, you can throw it away because it was cheap. This video is supported by, not by Wish, but through these Patreon supporters. Tony, Shannon, Lawyer Moses and Michael. Thank you for your awesome support. You can also support this channel by checking the link in the description of this video so that I'm able to buy real quality products, put out some better content than a, I don't mention, a 3D pen. With that being said, thanks for watching. Please like this video, subscribe to Zachary 3D Prince, and hey, there is merch in the merch store, and this is awesome to wear. Because it's winter, this is very nice to wear inside. That being said, thanks for watching. Please like this video, subscribe to Zachary 3D Prince, and hey, let's make some fun with 3D printing. Zachary 3D Prince, bye bye.